Welcome everybody back to Let's Play Mario's Missing Caller with you, and this is play is brought to you by MuchGames.ca. In the last video, video we took on Rome and Ludwig. Now we're going to an another city. Wait, should we get there? Do that right away. So, but looks like we're still around. Hmm. Would that be Paris? I do see the Eiffel Tower, so yeah, this must be Paris. This parts are going to be blind to me from now on, so... It's sandwiched between Spain and Germany, and they used French bread. This answers my question. Me and Paris! I don't know what the hell the artifacts are here. Uh, French flag. So I don't even want to know where that got stolen from. Okay, so... Let's do our norm and take out all the Coopers first, find out which one's got what. Apparently you are hiding something. You're hiding fire! That might actually be why you exploded on me. French fries actually didn't originate in France, I don't think. You know, I don't know why they call it French fries, I mean, it's just a potato, really. You have 41 square miles for French soil in the center of Paris. No, I'm not going to try a fake French accent. Nor any French accent, for that matter. We all know how that went for me. Okay, so... There is water around the area. And a couple more dead coopers. If I go up, I might be able to kill a couple more. Come here, you! You two. There we go. Man, I think I stomped on him right in front of a police officer. Okay, so I wanna go up twice. And go over to this one. That's the last artifact. So we got a bell, fire, and a French flag. Technically, I don't have to kill all the Coopers, but I like doing it anyway. Just because I can. Okay, well, I'm gonna talk to her. Frankly, it takes a lot of frogs to see Paris, but you can get French fries pretty cheap. What's all the people on French fries? If I want French fries, I go to McDonald's. The Burger King. Even Dairy Queen, for that matter. Or I do like poutine. What does that have to do with French fries, you ask? Well, what do you think the main ingredient is in poutine? It's fries, gravy, and dress and cheese curds. So, I think someone got a craving for poutine. I gotta kick myself in the butt. Okay. So, why is the... Okay, so, the Notre Dame Bell is still on. We can't reopen it until it gets returned. Construction of King Louis the Ninth's big project, the Cathedral of Notre Dame, Our Lady, began in 1163 and took 150 years to complete. Every detail of Gothic architecture was used in its design. Situated at the banks of E de la Cite, Notre Dame, Notre Dame can hold 9,000 people. The church is especially known for its huge rose-colored stained glass window. The window is illustrated with 80 pictures taken from the Old Testament. This is the home of Lobo Quasimodo, the hunchback from Victor Hugo's novel, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. So, let's just return that bell there. What does Notre Dame mean in English? Well, Our Lady. The cathedral is an example of what architectural design? Gothic. So, and both that's spread in a pamphlet, and there's the cathedral itself. So, yeah. I should go down to the Eiffel Tower next. Hey, that's where the flag is missing. 
not the flame. I mean, why would you put a flame right next to the Eiffel Tower? Of course, people are telling me about that Paris can be a wonderful place. I've heard mixed reviews about Paris, personally. It can be a great place in the Kings, so... Yeah, I was about to say... So I got no choice but to find out where the Eternal Flame is to. And not the Bangle song, neither, Jew. Yes, I do know. Okay, yeah, so I gotta go up. This spot over here. Okay, so... Oh, the Arc of Triumph. Okay. Eternal Flame or something can't be able to make its return. The Arc of, the Arc of Triumph. Arch of Triumph was built by the architect Charles Grin in the orders of Napoleon. It honored the French Empire and the triumph of the French armies during the Revolution. Napoleon died before the structure could be completed in 1836. A small <laughs> Napoleon small. A small museum inside the Arch commemorates both the history of the great general and the building itself. In 1920, the arch became the site of the tomb of the unknown soldier. Every evening at 6.30, a delegation from the Old Soldiers Association rekindles their tomb's torch. Might be the reason why. Shep, ask away. Who ordered to be built? Well, the unknown soldiers definitely didn't. Uh, yeah, Napoleon. When was the building completed? Well... Okay. I think I'm... I might have to ask this guy. So when does that... Okay, uh... Dates back from the 1790s. I wish we had that pamphlet again to see if it was fully built. Uh, right here. Oh, 1836. Duh. I knew it was in the pamphlet. There we go. And there's the Arc of Triumph. But you think you know who the uh, Unknown Soldier is now? Probably not, though. Okay. No, let's just return the French flag. And some French fries. Yeah, that's right. Well, it was stolen, and we can't be open until it gets returned. The tower that has come to symbolize Paris was designed by Gustav Eiffel, an engineer. The tower was built for the World's Fair in 1889. It is 1050 feet high and built entirely of steel. 2.5 million rivets hold it together. Oh, interesting. There for tower has its own post office, and letters posted there will bear its impressive postmark. Once the tallest building in the world, it's now dwarfed by the Empire State Building and Chicago's Sears Tower. I think there's a few others that's probably surpassed it by this time, too, so... Okay, what was the occasion for it? For the World's Fair... And what was the profession of the man who designed the Eiffel Tower? Well, he was an engineer. Yeah, good luck finding Mario. Right on. Well, his butt is not stuck up there on that pole. You know what? It's used to go be later again. And let's bring Yoshi up here. Go 
down first. Joshi has a bar, no. Uh, doing this. They're the last two Coopers, okay? They can't survive in such city life. Okay, so I'm gonna see my map. Yep. How come he can't do that? Walk on the streets. You don't need a license to ride a Yoshi. Now you, can't, now you can't block me. So not bad. I don't care about time bonuses. But... Swimming down. I suppose... Yeah, you're waiting for me. Okay. Before we go into the second door. I mean, like... This is like a Mexican theme now. It must be. So, what have we got? Two of them up there, and one, two, so three more. I think we're in Mexico! Well, it could still be over there in Spain, but... These buildings look more Mexican. Okay, so... Yeah, I got one more to, to jump on. Jumping on Coopers. The Luigi story. It's pretty sad for Luigi that you're searching for Mario when. No. Okay, so they're the only two right there. Oh, yes, there's one down below. Maybe at the same time I can ask Buddy Worm too. I think it's Mex Mexico City? Hey, a hat dance will soon be in order when you realize you're in the south of the United States board. Yep, we're in Mexico, okay. Let's go and kill more Coopers. Just keep going, Luigi. Yeah, why did the Cooper cross the street? Get knocked out by Luigi. I can go up a little bit. Okay, so... Did you really expect not to go to Mexico and have no peso? Peso being the currency, obviously. Great, now I sound like brag. It's one thing I always noticed, though. I'm not gonna make fun of the guy, but... Whenever you watch a Let's Play of him, he goes, obviously brought to you by... I don't mean to, to criticize, but it can't, it's not really ob that obvious, is it? I mean, it could be brought to you by Sugar Crisp. Just saying. Okay, so we got one now, we got a book. You found to be someone you know, it's a more, it's a populated city on Earth. Mexico City. The most populated city on Earth. So if you do have China, you know. Okay, so you're in the Zalaco, amigo, the heart of the old city. Interesting. Okay, well, something I gotta look at later on Skype. That is, I was like part of a painting. So, this capital city is the oldest in the New World, founded in 1325. Okay, by Spanish people, and we got it. Okay, so now that we got everything we want. Okay, so. Makes sense about Diego, we have a more. Nero was stolen, and we can't reopen until it gets returned. The explorer, the explorer Cortez convinced Mexico to build the National Palace. Inside is a painting 
by Diego Rivera, one of Mexico's most famous artists. He's especially well known for his political murals, in particular for a 1200 square foot painting of the Epic of the Mexican People in Mexico City's National Palace. The wall painting took the artist and his 16 full-time assistants 16 years to complete. I guess it's a year and assistant. The painting depicts Mexico's exciting political history. Okay, so I want to go to this one here. I bet, I bet you the one I'm looking for is down below. Okay, so... Fine Arts Cadillac was stolen and we cannot reopen until it gets returned. Okay. Fine Arts Palace on the main street, Juarez Avenue, used to be a royal palace. The palace was first turned into an opera house and finally a night museum. Admired for its elaborate architecture, the museum's vast collection represents Mexico's greatest ar artists, including Tomaro, Diego Rivera, and his wife, Frida Kaholo. I hope I never pronounced that right. Kaholo? Its official Spanish name is Palacio de Bellas Artes. Okay, well, let's go find a third one. Okay, down one more and then we'll go. To... Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Let's run over. Okay, so the angel is stolen, we can't blah blah blah. Okay, so the, the Zona Rosa, or Pink Zone, is at the exact heart of Mexico City's old district. In the Plaza de la Reforma, the, in the center of the zone, sits the Angel of Independence. The Angel is a 150 foot golden cherub built to honor the heroes of the Mexican Revolution. Even the city's natives use the beautiful Angel as a geographic landmark. So let's return the angel. Okay, so the heroes of the Mexican Revolution, not the restaurant one. The angel faces... Yeah, I... <laughs> Didn't really talk to any other relevant, any other people about that one. Of course, the old band's up there, but... Just go up and come down. Okay, so pink and yeah. So then I keep trying. Good thing Luigi looks both ways before crossing the street, kids. You should learn that. Maybe kids shouldn't be crossing the street anyway. Walrus Avenue. There's the Angel of Independence. It's back to being independent again. Okay, so where are we going next? Is it this way? Yeah, I got one more to go. On. Yeah. So did we get a little further? I'll just hop over you. Okay, so... The mirror took blank years to complete. Rivera is known for his... Well, yeah, his funny mur murals, right on. Political was the answer. This mural itself looks like something about the revolution. What the hell?! What the hell is shooting a stick?! Pierce through night armor. That's supposed to be political? It's more like a nightmare. Okay, so let's see our palace. What street is it on? 
Oh, it's war. Yeah, war is. That's right. Then we hold. Just go back and down. Be sure to talk to us unless we do so. Okay, uh. Hero's wife. Kilo and. Is it Warbez? Yeah. Seems like everything is Warbez. So there's the Fine Arts Palace. Okay, let's bring Yoshi in. What am I doing it that way for? Rio de Janeiro. North America. It is part of North... Mexico is part of North America. Canada, USA, and Mexico make up that. You can debate which order you want. Okay, one more down. Well, let's just go all the way to the exit so we can end this episode. Yoshi? There we go. Okay, so... Well... That's pretty much it. There's two more right there. Three more to go before we hit the boss. So next episode, we're going to tear open this door. Let's close something out. Peace out, everybody.